All right, Farmer Thanos explains to the group that meets him wherever in his garden area at the future utopia zone, you know, sort of close to there. Like, he's sort of floating in between, right? Um, And what he says is that he was trying to supposedly save humanity because cancer rot was eating everything. And that's why the big bugs appeared in New York and all that. And so, like, um... There's this whole concept that everything's blowing away to dust as it's being sucked dry, you know, in the already in the Marvel series. So it's held together through, of course, the magic uh, that is described within the Doctor Strange movies and stuff. But it's also held together from a future point where, you know, how everything's always polymer in movies of the future, like spacecraft it's always white polymer and everything squishy like that well that's the the supposed future uh for our marvel series the the third future section see what's going on in the overall marvel series is you have the old time with like thor and stuff who like won't let go that of that crumbled universe and the other gods from it then you have middle time and then you have the future time where everybody's there is more perfected. And so what they do is they basically create, turn the middle time of the Marvel area before the future into, off of what Thanos did, into like a video game full of polymer. They inject it back into the past to stabilize everything and give people a chance to maybe be recovered with technology and stuff. But what it causes is a sort of a video game environment for Mario so that, like, everything's damaged and you can have this hilarious effect where, like, you know, you know, like, polymer little bubbles, kind of like a Pepsi commercial where everybody turns into Pepsi. But instead, it's just, like, on the molecular level, zoomed in, they, like, get damaged and start to blow away and then the polymer hits them and then they get all cartoony, like, version of them, like Unreal Engine 4 slash 5, you know, all silly as they get more damaged. So then as Mario's going around saving the day, he knows like things are real damaged and irradiated and humanity's real rotted and just held in place like they're AI doing less things because they're so cartoony looking. Then as he fixes the environment through the movie and achieves different goals to pull reality back together, then the people get more realistic, the cars, the animals, etc. So we can kind of scale up and down hilariously. So what's with Doctor Strange not, like, being able to produce this type of uh, orange acid color in that many different frequencies rainbowing out from itself? Like, he should be able to produce this fucking type of fog. Not that, 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 that doesn't have color. I don't know why that's there. Anyways, for example, like, this level of color should come out of his hands in a Doctor Strange movie. You know, that's why I said he's unskilled and untrained. I had to explain how the explosion happened. So it's like, for example, this. He's moving through a room, and he, there's like Zulu warriors that have broken free from pots, like urns yeah. that contain their ashes, but there's too much magic free in the environment. So they're, you know, reconstituted in out of their ash dust by the magic in the air into Zulu warriors. So then he pours this multicolored fog out of his hands into the room, pulsing it every color. And then they can't see him, and he moves, leaving shadow images of himself everywhere he goes as, like, wafting orange acid, like he's still standing there telling them not to, you know, like, come any closer, while he leaves them in different spots as he, like, comes towards them and they, like, throw a spear at one of them. But instead of it being a, you know, shadow, it grabs it out of the air using smoke and whips it back into, like, the Zulu warrior who's trying to kill him. As then, you know, all of his shadows, like, start to move around and fight them, but, like only not interact with them just with the physical inanimate objects that they use as only Dr. Strange yeah. you know, suddenly appears out of the fog behind one of them and like snaps their neck or whatever with stupid glowy like cat's cradle orange ass that he's got on all of his fingers you know like yeah you know he grips them by the neck and they explode back into ash as he you know like yeah breaks the person's neck so there's no violence yet it's hyper violent as he disappears and reappears in the smoke leaving shadow images that are all pulsing orange acid colors breaking their necks and kicking them into things yeah sounds pretty great 
Um, I really like how some of the patterns here, they pulse like people's hearts connecting to their groins or frontal lobes, or really, yeah, spinning around yeah. like that both ways. That's really hot. That's that's the sauce right there. That's the sauce. That's how much color. Yeah, like see, we what we're thinking here, what I'm thinking, like you're saying is, when I was watching this and the the boob pulling game that we were just watching before the before this, mm -hmm. um, is that like, um, the oh, the the demons he had, you know, riding his corpse that he controls to fly over to save Sochitl from the sex slab um <laughs> that um like he's gotta like you know have other spirits you know in a sequel that are like colored you know like you're saying that are helping him like i don't know if it's the same demons maybe some okay, of them well, then I'll, I'll reach further he already acquired the book of light yeah life. and like i was saying yeah this is what i always plan for a sequel if it happens yeah the energy of the book unlike a black book it exists out of everybody's blood and death and misery into it but the book of light is just a, a energy source so when he goes and finds it the reason it can be destroyed is because all the energy already went into him or else he wouldn't have survived taking over all the demons and shit. Yeah. What he needed, like it always says about the book. And of the so the and place, place he visited, yeah. The shaley fades or burns yeah. in your hands. It's just the you achieve you the place where the energy that is required is contained. So then that is his ability is that because he broke his body with demon ghosts, even though they're no longer a part of him, then his soul is shattered and he's able to make orange acid fragments of himself out of fog and mist that pours out of his body. Yeah. Because he's a ghost because he killed himself. Yeah. But it doesn't matter much when you're Doctor Strange, right? Because he's strange. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. It sounds pretty good. Yeah, I was going to point out that I forgot, though, that um, just because everybody's so sensitive about racism, because Grant and Cucumber Patch are so white, supposedly. If I had said it, no problem, but no, I'm just kidding. But, like, um... I realized that it was racially insensitive. Yeah. So... I said, the Asians need it, like I always do, I say yes and, so, terracotta Asian warriors also, you know, being yeah. animated, so that that way there's Asians and blacks getting their ass kicked by a British man with a hammerhead shark eyeball setup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that way, like, you know, it proves he's racist against everyone who's not British. Perfect. No, no, it, it's <laughs> just the scene. The reason I, to be clear, I came up with the scene is because Zulus look intimidating. Yeah. When they're all dark skinned in a dark room, especially when it's like a tomb or like, I would say that they go to the garden and it's the tomb that they say needs to be cleaned. Like they have a list of things on yeah. the wall as well when they go in there for their guns. Yeah. So they rip it off. And on the to-do list is to take care of the gophers, right? Yeah. And then the other one, the other thing to do is to uh, go and clean out the tombs that are, you know, once again rising from the dead for no reason. Like it's a joke. Yeah, know? yeah. Fun. And then the final thing is to water the house plants in the enormous spooky mansion full of ghosts. Yeah. So, is that just a random new mansion you made up? Yeah. Okay. In the garden. It's just a giant, uh, you know, hardest hardwood mansion is the joke. The hardest wood. So, it's like stone. Like, everything's like petrified wood. Well, man, this is sounding like good for Luigi's mansion. But anyways, that's another story. What I'm saying is they go in there and everything's like actually a ghost. The house is empty other than the house plant. So, anything they sit on turns into a ghost. Like, yeah. it's Disney. So, like... You know, the lights, he turns it on, and then they all yeah. burst into ghosts that fly around the room as they're just illuminated ghosts and it's dark again, and then he has to summon it like a fake torch yeah. light. Yeah, all that classic stuff. Yeah, the piano, all the keys break off into little miniature rat ghosts that scurry all over the place, and he's like, can't I touch anything? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anything that's not hardwood is a ghost. See? Yeah, they're all hiding in there. Very interesting. Yep. Yeah. I just got another idea. Then when they realize what they're supposed to do, they have a, like, 
like pitchforks that are there by the you know the entrance foyer with little notes on them that say you know like uh like like feed the the um the house plants then the ghosts they're supposed to catch them on the end of the uh yeah the things and then they feed oh, them yeah. the giant venus flytrap house plants that eat them no that's hot yeah Oh, uh, yeah, I love feeding flies that have Venus fly traps. It's so fun. Yeah. That's a classic pastime. And then, of course, because you mentioned flies, you got to have giant blue bottle flies. Yeah. But they go down to the basement of the house, right? And they're literally just digging more basement and stare at them. And they just close, slam the door and close it and just say, we ain't going down there. <laughs> yeah. And there's flies, like, digging, like, that are all shiny, like, you know, in the dark and make, like, you know, noises. And then, like, the light <laughs> shines down. There's, like, flies, like, two of them with shovels digging. And he just goes, nope, and slams the door, you know. <laughs> okay. That's, yeah, it's very mysterious. Yes. Okay. I to flee. I was thinking, the last task that they have to do in the garden is pet a dog you know what i mean and they don't pet the dog for no reason because they just want to leave and then the dog gets emotionally upset and acts emotionally upset because they don't pet it and as they leave gets more and more upset into growling then they slam the door on it then it explodes out of the house as a giant three-headed dog dog with flames coming out of its mouth that's uh, super angry that starts ripping apart everything and then they leave yeah because it's like saying they didn't do any of the tasks right and they fucked it up because they're total fuck-ups yeah. But then the mansion reassembles later. Yeah. It's all good. It's a ghost mansion. Yep. But if you don't pet the ghost dog, it tears up the mansion again. It's kind of like that ghost mansion, you know, on the set of Wipeout with John Cena. Yeah, right. <laughs> pet, the, pet the ghost dog, fucker. Yeah, you better. Otherwise, you know... Y- doesn't it kind of feel like the new Wipeout episodes are kind of like Luigi's Mansion? Like, yeah. everybody's, like, on their way to hell, and they stop by the Wipeout course first. Right. But that's another movie. Wait, movie? That's I don't know. Not... Are these ideas too stupid? Does this make people angry that a dog rips out of the house because they don't pet it? How does that make people angry? I'm Be just wondering older? if this movie's too zany or something. I don't know how they're, it's going to be received. It's just Wizard of Oz, because it's Disney. I I guess so. Not Wizard of Oz, I meant Alice in Wonderland. We're just exploring different movies of Disney, because they said Marvel was Disney. Yeah, I mean... That's all we're doing, you're doing. Why not? I mean... Um... Let's see here... I don't know, I, I, I like big pumpkins, there needs to be big pumpkins somewhere... You know, maybe not. Here's what needs to happen. The dog gets super upset. Yeah. Blows up the mansion. It doesn't attack them. It starts crying flames that burn all the mansion and act sad. Yeah. And then they, they don't know what to do, so they run away because they made the, the giant dog turn into a giant angry puppy, basically. Yeah. I Is that better? Yeah, it's it's something, all right. Uh, yeah, I guess on the to-do list, you can have they go into a pumpkin pumpkin patch and then they get raped like Scooby Doo. Yeah, that is a good that is a good excuse for for more sexual action. I repeat, you don't do the porn. You don't get the horn. You don't get, you don't do the porn, and somebody an understudy will just do it for you. Exactly, yeah. that's what we're looking for. If mm-hmm. that's the course of the horror man you gotta pick the pumpkins but the pumpkins want to pick your booty yeah it's that classic cliche i guess mm-hmm. but i need like you know the pumpkins to be all like full of like you know hot you know like pumpkin colored jizz you know that's all like glowy you know pumpkin pasty yeah right it's a good pastime you get pumpkin pie. Yeah.